Hello there, welcome back to the new lecture. So in this lecture we have to discuss about the automatic duct sizing in Revit. So for that what you have to do, first come here in floor plan. First of all for automatic duct sizing we have to split the duct wherever there is expected to have reducer. So when you come here in floor plan C, so we know that if you are supplying condition air, so maybe uh, here when you are supplying some air in this room in this room so maybe here reducer will come the size of a duct will reduce okay so you have to split the duct wherever there is expected to have reducer so how to split the duct it is very simple modify tab modify panel here you will get the option split element hit on that suppose uh, maybe here the reducer will come just split it here also after supplying condition air in this two room here maybe reducer will come so split it now come to next floor first floor here also you have to do the same thing select the split element and here where you want to uh, where you are expected to have reducer just you can just split deduct here I have a split deduct here also okay now if you want to split deduct here you can split it come to next floor second floor here also I am doing the same thing split element suppose duct I am splitting here and here okay wherever you have expected to have reducer split the duct now come here uh, in 3d view here in riser also when we are supplying condition air from the HU maybe when you are supplying some amount of air in this second floor so duct will be split now here size will reduce now so hit on split here you can just split the duct like this same way after supplying here in some amount of air in first floor so maybe reducer will come so split the duct like this okay now we have to select the complete ducting layout after splitting the duct we have to select the complete ducting layout from the drawing so how to select the complete ducting layout it is only possible in 3d view so open your drawing in 3d view like this okay and take cursor near to any of the duct press the tab key one time two times see the complete ducting layout is selected then you have to press the left click see the complete ducting layout is now selected after that in modify tab analysis panel you will get the option duct or pipe sizing hit on that so sizing method which method you want to use for duct sizing so we have a different method you know that equal friction method is static regain velocity friction okay so here I am using the equal friction method means at every 100 feet of duct length how much friction loss we have to take here 0.1 inch of water gauge but remember friction loss value will be vary as per your project if you are designing for residential so the range of friction uh, loss uh, friction loss value as per standard is what you can go up to maximum 0 0.08 inch of water gauge but if it is a commercial so the range of friction loss you have to take 0 0.08 to 0 0.1 inch of water gauge between this if it is an industrial project so 0 0.1 to 0 0.15 inch of water gauge per hundred of so I am taking here 0 0.1 inch of water gauge because this is a commercial project select it ok now see here you will get the automatic ducting layout this is sizing is generating you have to wait here some mistake will coming see uh, here we have not done the automatic see the family is connected in network and can no longer keep the connectivity disconnect the family see the problem is what coming here the elbow which we have drawn here we do not have that much of space to connect the another elbow so okay you have from here you can just cancel it again so what you can do simple just nothing to do come here in roof floor and here mm, section view see here little bit you have to take the duct up okay now again try come here in 3 view take cursor near to any of the duct press the tap key double time okay you have to press the tap key double time then left click see now the complete ducting layout is selected hit on ducting or pipe sizing here you will get the method equal friction method use it hit on ok now see just wait for some time now your automatic ducting sizing is generating see automatic but again the problem 
uh, same problem here the fitting so okay for this fitting it is showing so here what we have to do now okay you have to move this duct little bit here so how it is possible in roof floor see just move the AHU here like this and plinth also now here you have to move it duct little bit getting now I am trying to do the duct sizing so this problem you also face okay remember this thing how to solve this problem see again I am selecting the complete ducting law hit on duct or pipe sizing equal friction method okay now see maybe the size will they will give you the sizing now because we have resolved the problem the message which we have got here now see the sizing is completed up to 100 percent okay automatically the size will reduce as per your CFM see in this way the duct sizing you will got automatic duct sizing see come here any flow see automatic the size of each and every duct will reduce getting and here you will get the reducer in each and every section so in this way we have to do the automatic duct sizing in Revit I hope all of you enjoy the session See you in next.